Hello, everybody. Thanks for uh, coming back for another session in our series, uh, Fixer Upper. I've been gone for a while, so I uh, hope you, uh, you're still going. And uh, we've been talking about how we can fix up our minds to think the way God wants us to think, uh, to think in a way that we enjoy the joy and happiness that God wants us to experience. Uh, Paul, in the book of Philippians, uh, identifies a number of things that take away our joy. And the one we're going to look at today is worry or anxiety. A lot of us suffer from anxiety. Uh, we worry about things. Uh, some of the symptoms you can look for are twitchy eye or you know, sore back or sore neck or jaw, headaches, um, can't sleep. Um, doctors estimate that two-thirds of uh, office visits are prompted by stress-related symptoms. Uh, so Paul says, that's not the way to think. That'll steal your joy. Uh, and so he introduces us today to uh, the right way to think. And it, it ends up in an amazing promise, discovering God's peace. So here's what Paul has to say. He says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. So he uses that Greek word Cairo, which we've been looking at throughout this series. He puts it in the present tense, which means you're supposed to rejoice over and over again through the day. It's not just a one-time deal, you know, praise God, and then you go about your day, but you rejoice through the day, uh, always. So in case you're thinking, well, you just have to do it sometimes, and you say, well, I don't know if I can rejoice always. I don't think I can always be happy, joyful. That seems unrealistic. That's not really the command. The command is rejoice in the Lord. That you can do. You can decide to think that way. No matter what's going on in your day, whatever you're facing, to rejoice in God, in your relationship with the Lord. And then in case you didn't get it, he says, again I will say it, rejoice. Then he goes on, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So, instead of worrying, just don't do that, don't be anxious about anything. Instead, present your request to God. So, instead of worrying, you tell God what you're worrying about and present it to Him. And then he promises amazing peace. So what I'd like you to do in your group would be to share what is it that has you stressed or worried, anxious. And then when you've done that, um, you know, go through the study together. But then let's do that as a group. Let's present our requests to God, the very things that have us really anxious. Okay? Have a great group. Thank you.